Hey everyone, as you Berserker back with Battle Fantasia. We left off with Freed. Now we're on to Don Valve. John! Alright, let's do it. Oh my god, I have four more characters after. Oh, that's crazy. Don Valve Judon. 55 in human years. One of the four heroes from the last war. He was the king of the Dwarven Empire before its collapse. The Dwarven Empire was once the most powerful civilizations in the world, but time, conflict, and inner struggles eventually reduced the vast empire to a fraction of the former size and glory. The final death throes of the empire came just as the world found itself engulfed in war with the other with the forces of darkness. Donvald, who was the current king of the empire, decided to ab abdicate and join the fight against the armies of darkness with one of the four heroes. During the battles that followed, Donvald suffered what should have been a fatal wound. However, using the power of dwarven technology of his own, Ingenuity. The great Dwarven hero was able to construct an incredible steam power device that allowed him to make amazing recovery. Back on his feet, the device strapped to his back, he gathered together some Dwarven survivors and a few of his friends to open a small workshop called Donvald and Co. Utilizing steam power and traditional runic technology, they made a successful business developing original weaponry. Their work is very popular, and their technology can now be found all over the world. So basically, he's walking in his own like respirator. That's pretty cool. <laughs> the war over and peace achieved, Donvald now lives quietly, surrounded by friends, family, and drink. Dream of the day, the glorious Dwarven Empire will rise again. Until the, uh, the uh, guy of darkness comes along and ruins it all. <laughs> <coughs> Oh god, I just choked on my own spit. <laughs> oh, what? Don't tell me I haven't heard. Well, 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 let me tell you. Oi, where do you think you're going? <coughs> okay, then, listen up. Us dwarves are proud bunch, you see. Us dwarves are the backbone of the world since my grandpa's grandpa's grandpa before that. We dug long, long tunnels deep under the earth, connecting everybody so dwarven technology spread around the world. The underground of the heavens. Dwarves. Oh my god, I'm choking on my own voice here. Oh, excuse me. This is a bad recording. <laughs> ah! Our citizens are kind-hearted and strong. Most importantly, we're a peaceful bunch. Love nothing more than our families. But then, they came. In the legendary dwarven wars happened, right? Yeah. Exactly, Mondo. I heard this story a dozen times. I'm tired of that story. What are you saying? You get interesting from here. Huh? I'm running dry. Bring me more, more. Yeah. I already had too much. I'm not drunk yet. One more. There, <laughs> only one more, okay. <laughs> oh, life is good. I never thought the day would come where I'd be enjoying a drink like this. Drink, drink, it's on me today. We're gonna drink until we drop. <laughs> Damn. Okay, no fighting there. Uh oh. Oh, where are the drinks? Okay, this is the last one. <laughs> there it is, nothing gets going without it. Glug, 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 whoo! Drinks today seem to be exceptional today, exceptional! Alright, one more. You get ready to learn about the glorious dwarven legends. I said no more, nya! What? Are you saying my stories aren't good enough for you? You've had too much! Last one for today. No, oh, no, don't be like that. Drinks, more drinks! Don't worry about keep them flowing. I'm not done yet. That's not the problem, nya! Huh? Then what seems to be the problem? I'm sorry, I don't have any more. Oh, wouldn't there be any more drinks at the pub? I said don't be like that. Keep them coming. Have plenty more money. Tori wants money too, but I don't have any more. Now, 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 don't be lying to me. You really don't want me to have a drink, I see. Not going to happen today. Now bring me everything you have. I can't bring you what I don't have. Very well. I have to force you to bring it to me. Drinks, bring me drinks. Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god, Kiori. I'm gonna actually have to hit pause and get myself something to drink because I just killed my voice. I'm back! Alright, let's do this. Okay. Oh, that's a move. 
Oh, he got some booty butt loose. Oh, yeah, I gotta defeat the evil with that booty butt. God, this is a big boy. Okay. Oh! Booty slam. Okay. A lot of booty slamming. I don't think that's healthy for your lungs, sir. <laughs> yeah, girl should be more ladylike. Ugh, let us drink. Bring me all you got. There's really no more, yeah. Are you still going to play that game? You think I'm lying? I'll show you our storage. It's not about alcohol left, yeah. It's all because of the sign of El Prestige. What? What did you just say? Yeah, I signed up for stage. That's what everyone's talking about these days. Strange fever outbreaks all the world. Huge earthquakes, volcanoes erupting, rivers turning into blood. And always they say the events are preceded by the night in black armor, or the dark mist, or a flock of crows. A night in black armor could, could really be the next ruler of the apocalypse. I'm scared of the sign of El stage, and they stay home and they won't go to work. So I don't have much liquor. I did not know such things were happening. Oh boy, I'm sober now. Next rule of the apocalypse, that's pretty serious stuff. Of course, my old friend Watson might know a thing or two. Looks like I'll be dusted off the traveling gear. Alright, let's go. My, my, Sir Dalval. It's been a while since you came last to visit. Sorry, my old friend, it's been very busy. Rumors of your success have reached even this continent. Here you're getting popular among the youth as well. <laughs> I see your stargazing hasn't changed much either. Why don't you leave the tedious work to the youngsters and have a drink or two? <laughs> this is what I do. I can concentrate on my research only because world peace has been achieved. I guess going through all these battles during the last war is worth it for both of us. Oh, about that. Actually, I heard a strange rumor. A strange rumor? Something called the Sign of El Presage. Awful rumor similar to those of our younger days. The Sign of El Presage? I see. It's as I suspected. Eh? So you do know something. As a matter of fact, I sense a disconcerting evil presence coming from the mountains between the continents. Between the continents, meaning... You don't mean... Yes. Unfortunately, it's a dark, heavy, evil presence. It's becoming more and more difficult to see the stars. I fear it is time. I see. Then it's time with the essence. Let's find out what's going on. Sir Donvald, you don't mean to say that you're going yourself. Of course! Isn't the danger far too much for one man? You have a man such as yourself? <laughs> Nonsense. It's too bad if the bringer of Presage arrives. I must see that he does not. I understand. I suppose I don't need to worry about you. However, it seems that you have grown rather rotund about getting your exercise. <laughs> Go on, your master, me old friend. How about a bit of a test match? Brings back fond memories, does it not? Since you are my opponent, don't expect me to go easy on you. All right, time to fight the bunny boy. Adorable little Watson. <laughs> God, I just got the burst technique too. It's like, what? I'm rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, keep dursting the win. Perfect. Hey, I got a butt stop. Okay, I got a steam thing. That was a taunt. Butt stomp. Gotcha. <laughs> you still gotta put up a good fight. It was like the old times, was it not? <laughs> what do you say? I still got it, don't I? Indeed you do. <laughs> hey. Too many voices today. <laughs> You've kept fine form, like a true warrior. However, a journey brings many with many dangers. Please take good care of yourself. Uh -huh, leave it to me. You stay here and relax. Very well. I should keep an eye on the stars in Bob's observatory. I would appreciate that. Contact Don Bob Branch immediately if anything happens. It should reach me right away through the Dwarven Tunnel Network. Understood. Well then, I'll be leaving now. <laughs> I 
have to Marco's voice, aren't I? Yep. I better check to see if anything strange is going on in this town first. This has been a while since I've been here. We had many drinks together when he was still alive. Ah, oh, there it is. This is... Oh, what's this? <laughs> oh, wait, we're all set. I have Daddy's sword and the time to beat up some bad guys. Let's go, Kashu. Oi there, are you Marco, are you not? Huh? Ah, Uncle John! <laughs> I'll leave you a few years and look at you all grown up. Yeah, I'm a brave hero, remember? I, um, Uncle, did you know that I'm going on an adventure now? What was that so? That sounds like a lot of fun. You must have wandered off too far. What do you mean? It's an adventure. I have to go far away. What? You're not going to You're not just playing around. I thought you were just talking about a game. No, this is for real. A real adventure. Oh, Marco, you must not. I'm going. Or is one on adventure? I'm going too. You're still pretty young, Marco. Do you really think you'll be able to handle it? Yes, yeah, way. I can handle it. I'm going on no matter what. No. Yes. Girl. I'm going to get it this way. I'm going to beat you up. Yeah. Oh, my God. The Marco voice, man. That kills me. Every time. <laughs> okay. Time to be the big beefy boy with the dirty technique. Just throw throw the child. It's fine. That's a really good move. Kinda of broken actually. Booty butt! <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, I might have gone a little overboard there. <laughs> yeah, you lied. It looks like you need to train a little more. But, but I, I really want to go on an adventure. Please let me go. I can't let you do that. Listen, Marco, we'll just furl danger. And if you can't beat me, how can you hope to survive up there? Train more, Marco. And if you become strong enough to beat me, I promise to support you. Promise? Okay. I will, Uncle Dawn. Just watch me, Uncle. I'm gonna twain very hard and be a gazillion times stronger than you. I have a partner, too. A partner? That's reassuring. Come visit me once you finish your training. You hear? I'll be looking forward to it. Okay, see you, Uncle. Okay, I'm going to try really hard. Let's go try to a special twaining time. <laughs> Full of zip, that kid. If he's still alive, he would have been. No, forget it. Unless he's gonna change the past. Huh? Oh, this butter shed. You, huh? Oh boy, I can't believe you took off again. I keep up with him. Uh, excuse me, sir. I inquire that you see the young boy come this way. Uh huh, he was just here a moment ago. You must be Marco's partner. A partner? No, sir, nothing like that. But Marco was just saying he had a partner. Uh, that boy decided to make me his partner without my consent. I see, then. Why are you chasing him? Because if you don't want to become his partner, then go go with him. He's just a child's whim. Yes. And I don't, I don't have to follow him. It's just so irresponsible. I could let a child go alone in good conscience. I'm the only one who can keep an eye on him so it doesn't inconvenience other people. Thus, I have no choice but to follow him. <laughs> I see. Um, how about this, young master? Why don't you test your powers on me? What? I want to know if I can leave Marco to you. I decline. I'm just a guardian of some sort. Here, you don't have to hold back. Well, wait. Sweet. You know what, Cedric? I'm going to take pleasure in beating you up. Asshole. There we go. There we go. Oh, my God. This works so well, though. <laughs> Again, my dirty technique is wonderful. That's such a good animation. Let's see if I can get this up. Okay, I gotta be closer for that one. That's what I get from that. 
Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> <laughs> not bad, certainly not enough. What you need is a nerf to attack like you mean it, when the situation calls for it. But my, it seems you have a worldly wisdom, but you won't be able to get by with reason alone. <laughs> no matter what, you and Marco are still young. You have the world ahead of you. What is important that of, of what you and how to learn? I yeah, will leave Marco in your hands. And they said he's not my partner. Well then, this request is from me. Please be a good partner to Marco. But um, Marco's like a son to me. I need to be sure he's going to be okay. It's settled then. Hey, wait a second, sir. I don't want to be his partner. Yeah, you are, we did. Huh? Good, it's special planning time. We're gonna fight and get stronger. First, it's your turn to attack. What? You're not making any sense. Yeah. Stab him some more. <laughs> Sarai Cave. It seems there's nothing wrong with the town. What about the cave? I know it used to be a haven for demons. I wonder. Huh? Feels like there's something alive in here. Who's there? Huh? That voice. Oh my! Is, it, is that you? Is it you, Uncle Dawn? Olivia, what are you doing here? Everyone at the castle must be worried sick about you. You must return. I cannot return to the castle yet. Please, Uncle Don, please keep our meeting a secret from my father. Why do you want me to do such a thing? Uncle, have you heard about the rumor circulating amongst the people? The scion of Bilbrasash? The miracle rose of Rosalia is shown an ill omen. I fear the two are connected somehow. No, well, what? I must get to the bottom of this. No, you must not. I can't let you face such danger. But I must. The ci citizens are in danger. It's my duty to go. Olivia, I've known you since you were a little girl. I fought together with Victoria, your mother. Yes, you often played with me in the castle garden. I still remember those days fondly. You're like a daughter to me, and I consider you a member of my family. If anything happened to you, I... Please, I beg you, return to Rosalia. I will find out about the sign of a presage. Leave everything to Uncle Dawn. No, I cannot back, get back down now. I must see the world in its own eyes. I see you're not the only mother beauty, but her stubborn cheek as well. However, I still can't let you go. If you insist, I'll have you have to get past me. I shall gladly take on that challenge. All right. Don Val versus Olivia. It sucks to hear your voices when your like sinuses are plugged too. By the way. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> That's such a good throw though when it connects like holy oh, shit. Oh. Gotcha. <laughs> Kids these days looks like you still have a thing or two to learn. I will not give up, Uncle. Please allow me to go. Uh, uh. Sorry, my dear. You're just as stubborn as your mother, Victoria. Well, then I will carry you back to the castle. Up you go. Hmm? Leave the duty to me. Who are you? It's Ashley time. I will let's go to Highness back to Rosalia. What? Who the heck are you? Hmm? That two are tattoo on your chest, the Rosalian roller roll crest. The royal guards are sworn to protect the royal family. Very well, I will leave Olivia in your hands. Now go. There you go. What is the matter? Don't let her just lie there. I'm just a servant. I can't, I can't touch the princess's body. What the? Do you understand what you're saying? You just said you would take her back to the castle. Olivia is unconscious. How do you propose to take her back without picking her up? I am princess of shadow. It's wrong for the shadow to touch the princess. Come again, shadow my butt. Don't be such a wuss. How are you going to protect Olivia if you won't touch her? So gloomy. What is up with you youngsters? I have no idea anymore. Be a man and just have to go for it sometimes. Come on, show me what you got. Come on. Well, you're turning out to be a ball of frustration. It's time to teach you a lesson. <laughs> oh, Ashley. Ashley. 
I have to remember they pronounce the names Ashley, so I'm gonna do the same. So, uh, Swan Lake over here is definitely one of my favorite characters to play in this. Whoop! Durston! Just gotta keep rolling, rolling, rolling! Alright, partner! Keep on rolling, baby. You know what time it is. Nope, he does not have a run. Oh, well. Let's try to get in close to throw, but it didn't work. <laughs> you were lost because you didn't put your back into it. Watch me see like this. Sometimes you have to use your body, take things on the head. Here, pick up Princess Olivia. Come on. Oh, Livy. <laughs> that boy, that boy. I will leave Olivia to you, understand? Yes, I shall return to her safely to the castle. But there's one thing that causes concern. Huh? What is it? Livy has found the lead in the sign of ill presage. What was it? A traveler passing the hills between the continents saw night and black armor enter the mountain of fire. Between the continents? Just as I suspected. Maybe we'll leave the castle again unless the mystery of the sign of ill presage is solved. I hate to ask you to do this, but could you solve the mystery? Otherwise, I feel Livy will put herself in danger again. Very well, leave it to me. There, then. Very well for now. Many thanks for the advice you have given me. <laughs> Seems I did not waste my time after all. Off I go then. Oh, there we go. Already in the continent of fire, baby. Hmm? That noise. Urs. Hey, Uncle Don. What the hell are you doing here? Uh, that's precisely what I want to ask you, young man. What are you doing at the world's end? Me? I'm a hero, here to find out where my dad is. Got a feeling that something is in here. About Dinah, I see. Still, this place is far too dangerous. You should leave it to me. I'll find out about your dad. You return home and protect Dinah and Marco. No can do. I just can't let this go like that. Doesn't every son worry about his dad? Dinah was my friend in the League of Heroes. Truthfully, it was probably our fault that he disappeared. I'm going to find it to. I'm going to find out about the sign of Versace. So you, sign of Versace. That same name keeps coming up. It's pretty damn sure that's got something to do with my dad. Hankel Dawn, are you saying that there's something with the clue that Dad's disappearance? That I do not know, but apparently somebody saw the knight in black armor enter this mountain. What? I shall take over from here. I'll leave everything to me and go home. Yeah, I can't do that. I can't back down. Now that I've come this far, you should back down yourself, old man. No, Urs. You've got a birth bright future ahead of you. I can't let you put yourself in this kind of danger. Shut up! Get out of the way! I will not! Damn you! <laughs> Alright, let's go! Let's fight my... Kind of nephew, son, whatever, kid. <laughs> Let's get him. I don't know that Don Vald is like wearing that as a way to keep himself alive. That's pretty cool, actually. Lore! <laughs> Lore is good. Close enough. No, I don't know how to do that move. <laughs> ah, Dursting one. Nice. Damn you. Oh, you're getting stronger, I see. Like father, like son. <laughs> Shut up. However, you still have a long way to go. Many ways you and Marco are not that different. It will be some time before you can face me in battle and win. Let the clue to dads. Leave it to me this time. You must return to your family. Without Dinah, who do you think would protect Dina and Marco? <laughs> or what? Are you saying that you do not trust me? Alright, Uncle. I'll leave it to you. Good. I assure you I will solve this mystery. I'm putting pride at the dwarves on the line. Okay. Take care of yourself, Uncle. <laughs> okay, then. I can feel the power of evil over there somewhere. I have to take a look and see. 
It's close. You have a presence. It's getting stronger. When the world is in here. Huh? You! A dwarf. I thought the very last of you died a long time ago. We'll make a fine offering to my lord. That, that armor. Why do you have... Where did you get that? Could it be that? Now, come to me. Sacrifice yourself. Add to my powers. Your blood, your flesh. Give everything to me. And your own eyes. Witness the world. Wait, answer me. Who are you? Answer me. Are you? Are you the next bringer of the presage? Answer me. Oh, shit. I'm killing my voice on this one. <laughs> Note to self. Uh, only because I'm doing this because Christmas is coming. No one have time to record. Not to record these ones back to back to back. Oh my god. <laughs> He's kill. <laughs> Especially the Marco voice. It's fine. Oh, is this a big version? Shit, I think it's a big version. That's not hard. That power up is annoying. I do not like playing the big boys, let me tell you. Oh my god, this is rough, buddy. Ah! Got him! Oh, he's waddling. <laughs> Impossible. How could it be that the battle style, the swordsmanship, is just too similar? Yes, how could I forget? It's exactly as if... Could it be underneath that armor? Very well, then. I will find out with my own eyes. Who are you hiding under that armor? That's far enough! Eh? Forget about it, you old geezer. Uh, who are you? Oh, hell, that means you don't remember the epic battles we had in previous war? It's thanks to you I look like this. Huh? Hmm. That voice, the foul mouth of yours. I've heard that somewhere before. Where was that? If I'm not mistaken, I'm not. Oh, could it be that you're still alive? Take your friggin' time, won't you? Getting senile, I see. Ah, look who's talking. You may have changed your appearance, but you're petty as ever, what do you say? Eh, you haven't changed that nosy style of yours either. For sick, sick. Put on a little secret. Hmm? That thing on your back armor. He's the who you think it is. What? Hell, he's on our side now. How? How could it be? Now that he's become the bringer of Presage, I have no place to go. On top of that, look what the guys did to me. <laughs> you must drink what you have brewed. Curse you. You making fun of me, you old geezer? Everything's your fault. Time to pay you. Oh, deal, do it. Yes, father. Yeah? Oh. Okay, here we go. Okay, so... Doku Rod, just a big old asshole that uses his daughter for this shit. And I have a feeling, well, I had a feeling, because they're trying to be coy. And I have a feeling they're trying to make this like a sequel and some shit. But yeah, Black Knight is definitely uh, Urzen, Marco's dad. Oh, that almost worked. That was a 360, by the way. <laughs> it was too much for you? Bloody hell. Where does sheer brute force come from? Damn, it's time to go. Don't misunderstand me. You'll pay one day, damn dwarf. Last. Let's go, Odile. Yes, father. Oops, I almost forgot. I'm taking him with me. Huh? Wait. Don't take him. Wait. Yeah, yeah. 
Dine, a hero stained by blood. At least let it be me who puts you to rest. Uncle, are you counting? Oi, oh, oh, yeah, good, 50 more. Eat that many. Dine always does 300, you know. Oh, okay, man. Okay, I'll do it, you watch. Hey, yeah! Marco, hers. So too early for you two. The truth is too cruel. If I can, I shall put an end to it myself. I'm tired. Boy, if you can't even finish these drills, you'll even be a gazillion million times stronger than me. Shucks, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be a gazillion billion stronger than you. Aww. I was right. That was kind of a bummer, though, is that they were kind of hinting that they were going to do a sequel. But then, obviously, it, it's not going to happen because this didn't really do any gangbusters in that. It's kind of a bummer. Aww. But this is Edgy Berserker signing off, learning a valuable lesson not to record two episodes of these in a row because it's going to kill her voice. Huzzah. Anyways, until the next episode, I'll see y'all later. Bye now.